hello everybody today we will we came up with another my analysis uh, of my game uh, this is also a blitz game so we can expect a small uh, tiny tiny mistakes where we can explain uh, some of the beginners and intermediate players how we can avoid such mistakes anyways now let's the opponent started with d4 and uh, black replied which is me replied with f5 actually this comes under dutch defense even though it is surprising for uh, beginners that this kind of you know f5 pawn moves uh, is uh, you know uh, is surprising because we tell we will mostly teach the big, uh, beginners not to move the side pawns but this kind of with certain theory you can play this uh, certain critical understanding you can play this kind of games now let's see so but when when you are playing these kind of moves which move uh, king's side pawns you have to completely understand the theory and play the game okay now let's see so e4 c4 knight to f6 which is very important move knight to f3 g6 idea you can put your bishop uh, place your bishop on g7 and do castling so that bishop on g7 the fianchetto bishop will be very powerful and it will protects the king now and also maintains a very good diagonal on uh, you know it controls the diagonal very well yeah now let's see now bishop f4 obviously uh, you have to be little sensitive or you have to be careful about this threat the next threat could be if see you can't ignore uh, 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 threats now you have to be little careful of knight g5 knight b5 knight, knight b5 and attack on the threat but you can simply ignore for a while because you can simply close it close this diagonal with e6 now e6 is also an attempt in the future you can play e5 e d6 is an attempt uh, for that so you are preparing all the ground to play e5 so but see you can currently have a three uh, supports on the center so now you have only one support so uh, we can possibly uh, play knight h5 in the future to eliminate one support taking off the bishop exchanging bishop uh, for my knight on f6 okay now let's see now a6 obviously uh, is uh, not allowing the knight or you can you can some uh, you can also uh, probably expanding uh, the queen side i think uh, that is yeah now castles knight to c6 here you can also play uh, d5 which is better for white so you can simply play d5 and you can play e5 pawn takes uh, knight pawn takes bishop pawn takes here uh, so i mean a pawn takes uh, b7 actually is better here bishop takes um, and uh, obviously uh, pawn takes even though white is having a pawn up it is uh, really it is slightly equal uh, because uh, look at the knight e4 you can simply opens the diagonal and uh, black have uh, so white have a bit of um, even though it is pawn up so it, the black pieces can be little bit active here so yeah but you can um, the pawn up is a pawn up you have to be carefully playing your moves black have to be little careful this is slightly better for white now so 
uh, white played rook to c1 probably he want to play c5 c5 and also uh, open that line okay so knight to h5 i am just following my plan plan uh, to play e5 because to play e5 you have to eliminate the f4 bishop because there are three attacks on e5 one is knight bishop and pawn on d4 so if you can minimize that you have to if you take it off take the bishop f4 off and now you have certainly sufficient material to play e5 now knight to g3 you can also play to bishop to g5 but again it will be chased down to h6 and here and you can simply play and it will ultimately have comes to g3 where you can take it okay and uh, okay now he directly played uh, bishop to g3 and uh, which i took and bishop pawn takes and now you can see now i can directly play e5 right now pawn takes e5 pawn takes knight takes e5 knight takes e5 bishop takes e5 uh, here up to here the things are uh, fine for white and uh, obviously for black also things are better now now here queen c2 and here plays the first mistake by black that is me i sh i should have played something queen to e1 or, or i should have played pawn to c6 uh, knight to d uh, uh, you know queen to e7 is a mistake because simply you are inviting your knight here okay obviously you can simply getting a tempo you can attack okay and uh, you can also play queen to g7 uh, yes this is light in slight uh, uh, you know you are allowing uh, you are allowing your knight um, and uh, what happens is uh, you can also play uh, after this you can simply have to play pawn to g3 pawn to c6 uh, you know pawn to c6 and you can simply play bishop pawn to f4 it is slightly interesting how it uh, goes through and uh, as if now i think uh, you know you know this is this is still better i mean bishop to d6 and uh, knight takes it queen takes and uh, bishop to g3 still i think still here white is slightly better and let's see uh, if uh, there is any doubt because my measurement is see you have you can uh, you because by this position i can ju just suggest that uh, you can simply play rook d1 and try to get some uh, um attack on pawn b6 which is you, you know that potentially little bit weaker so let's see that whether we have assumed correctly yes slightly there is uh, a slight advantage you can see from the engine okay now Oh, now this is what uh, this is uh, uh, not happened in the game but uh, white played a different move of bishop, bishop to e3 bishop to f3 now pawn to c6 definitely i should and must award the knight on g uh, coming to uh, d5 you should uh, control that square and rook to d1 i think rook to d1 is an okay move here 
I don't think uh, because at one point you can play you you may play something like f4 and kick off that bishop or something or you can probably uh, maneuver that knight to d2 and d a uh, knight to e2 and to d4 um, maybe uh, you know rook to d1 uh, makes a little bit of sense to me yeah so bishop to e6 uh, completing the development of minor pieces pawn to b3 i don't think pawn to b3 makes sense for me here maybe he might be thinking that uh, i will play queen to g7 um, but still okay pawn to g3 maybe b4 you can he can simply play b4 right away and try to because b4 looks a battle i mean uh, because b3 i don't know b3 is how accurate is that so b because b4 uh, can also uh, oh but uh, oh the b yeah but interestingly b3 b4 is also a wrong move because you are simply taking giving a pawn so b3 for a, uh, a simple reason is okay but uh, if you think uh, if you are playing b3 i suggest i mean for this you can simply play knight to e2 idea is simply playing knight b4 this is slightly better i think so okay now let's go back now bishop to pawn to b3 rook to d1 i must play d5 pawn to to free my um, free my uh, backward pawn so queen to g7 idea attacking the knight so you know kicking the knight from there uh, you have to find white have to find a right square for knight because knight is not at all a good on a4 or uh, somewhere but uh, obviously uh, we can play queen to d2 here um, anyways but knight to a4 certainly knight is not having any purpose here uh, king to h1 probably i want to play rook to g8 and push g5 g4 or g5 or f4 uh, something like that to expand my queen side sorry king side so c5 uh, c5 that is the plan probably that is the plan of uh, white what is uh, that is the plan of white so that is the reason he played knight to a4 but this gives me chance to play knight bishop to g5 even though bishop looks here uh, temporarily the e6 bishop looks uh, uh, horrible i can play g5 and f4 and uh, release that bishop knight bishop to again another move that may does not make any sense bishop to um, b6 i i don't know what is the purpose of that move bishop to g7 bishop to g7 try to you know um, attack that knight not only attack that knight but uh, my my main idea is not to place the knight to uh, you know uh, you know to gain some uh, some time we are i'm short of the time and i can simply play e4 uh, g5 and f4 soon so g4 and i am about to play g5 and the uh, opponent played b uh, g4 i think this is a big blunder here because after taking this after taking this you, you know it is simply uh, you know i don't what is the plan of g4 i don't understand what is white's plan of g4 uh, because it helps black to implement his plan rook to e8 so my idea is to either play f4 or g uh, d5 which is in, in the in the future 
okay pawn to pawn pawn takes pawn bishop takes thanks for my bishop which is get at which is also active and one more thing is uh, you know with this i have that space i can i can simply the queen can also go to uh, you know um, the queen can also go to h6 and try to some do something over there and uh, yeah now see now now you can see that bishop to b7 bishop to e7 makes sense here and queen check here and you get a simple uh, you know simple tempo and queen have to retreat and now comes a blow queen to h7 check and uh, uh, king king to f1 now a surprising and a beautiful move b4 opening the center now it takes it and it takes it bishop to f4 now four king eight now not only four king eight and you are simply preparing a mate now the e1 rook is guarding the e file now queen f1 is a queen h1 is a mate so queen moves and queen to h uh, h1 is a checkmate thank you very much